CataractCoach.com, the best way for wound assist IOLs. Let me teach you how to safely insert the lens while keeping your view inside the eye. Now, here's the right way. This is me operating recently on a fellow ophthalmologist. Now, look, I'm fixating the eye with the left hand initially, but now this is a two-handed injector. As I insert the lens, yes, the eye initially moves out of primer, but then I bring the eye back into position here. And that's important. Now, that tell you about RetinaRounds.com, our new Retina channel. It is amazing. A new video every single day. It's growing so fast. You need to subscribe. It has great material, even for cataract surgeons like you and me. I promise you'll learn a lot. Now, again, this was the right way. Let me contrast that with the wrong way so you know. Here's the wrong way. And the, where's the eye? In the nasal canthus. And you're just shoving the lens in. This is not the way you want to do it. See the problem you have here? You lose your view. And in this case, this is a video we had previously where the incision is too small and you're just trying to shove it in the eye. As the eye goes and is being pushed in the nasal canthus, you lose the view. Now here, watch me insert the lens here. But you notice how initially the eye moves out of primary, but then we get the eye back in primary and that's okay. Now this lens is a torque lens. I'm going to show you some torque lenses because those require two hands on the injector. One hand to hold the tip, the other to deliver it with the plunger or the screw. Now here again, I'll put the leading edge in. Now, it's a little, little bit in the nasal canthus, but now get the eye back to primary. So again, with a two-handed injector, where you have the right hand, in my case, holding the injector tip, and the left hand on the plunger or on the screw pusher, you need to be able to just get the eye back to primary. So again, let me show you again. Initially, put the lens in, the tip in, right there at the wound, and the eyes out of primary, but then you bring it back into position. You see what I did there? So as you start to deliver it, all you got to do is start to get a little bit of lens in the eye, and then you can bring it back to primary. Don't insert the whole lens while the eye is shoved in the nasal canthus and you have no view. Now, here's an easier one. Here, the left hand's fixating the eye. Why? Because the right hand is using a single uh, hand injector. This is a preloaded lens, and this is a very easy one to deliver. So if you have a preloaded lens that can have a single-handed injector, like a plunger type, or this one is a trigger type with a CO2 cartridge for the Alcon lens. In this case, we can actually keep the eye primary the whole time because you have the left hand, in my case here, your non-dominant hand, fixating the eye and keeping it in primary. So let me show you again. Here's another one, same, same lens. This is a one-handed injector. And you can see I'll fixate there with a the chopper through the paracentesis, and now you can abut the lens right there, and then you don't need the tip all the way in the eye. Again, we're using a wound assist. But now I can get the lens starting to be delivered inside the eye, and then, look, the eye has a view the entire time. Again, the big challenge is when you use a two-handed injector. So when you use a two-handed injector, both of your hands are on the injector, so the tendency is to shove the eye in the nasal canthus, and you don't want to do that. A little bit initially fine, but then as soon as the lens starts to go in the eye, get it back to primary. Now, here's a nice overhead view, and you can see, by the way, how amazing is this scrub tech. Look at the lens on the right side of the screen, already loaded, handed to me in the correct orientation. You got to love technique like this. So what an amazing scrub tech. So I filled the out cap. The caps are back with the disc glasses. Look at the lens already correctly oriented for me. And look at her hand, ready to grab the injector as soon as I'm done. What an amazing assistant. I am so fortunate. Now, look, at lens goes in the eye. Okay, this is a one-handed injector. This is the older style. But again, just a single hand on the plunger, and then I can now get that eye well delivered. Let me show you a little bit different view of a very similar case. Again, viscoase going inside the eye. We'll fill up the capsular bag here. There we go. Capsular bag's filled up. And now look at this, handing me the injector. Boom, there it is. And now I can fixate the eye here because, again, we're doing this technique with a one-handed ejector that's easy to do. And now the lens goes right there inside the eye, and we'll finish up the case. So again, I want to explain you, the main issue people have is with a two-handed ejector, because you can't fixate the eye. So let me show you one last time. Here's the right way, two-handed ejector. Watch carefully. So initially, you get the tip right there, a butt against the incision. Now, the eye is a little bit in the nasal canthus, but as soon as I start to get the lens in the eye, now bring the eye back to primary, get the lens fully delivered while you maintain your view. And I won't even show you the other video of how to do it the wrong way, because that one is just too painful to watch. Remember, this is how you want to use the incision and do the wound assist, especially with a two-handed injector. Again, this is the right way. Please learn it, especially if you're a young resident. And I remind you, again, Sign up for the Daily Cataract Coach email. New video every single day. These videos, but it's sent to your inbox. I want you to sign up for it. Do me the favor. Thank you.